So for today's video, I'm going to be trying to do, a, I guess, a little hack for the car with this hat organizer. And this is by far my favorite hat organizer for my husband who collects hats and my two sons that play baseball and all the sports. This is, yes, by far my favorite one because it's very compact and you can see all your hats. The only thing is it, it's a little wide. So when you hang it in the closet, if you're going to hang it in the closet, you do have to, you know, allow for space for it to be like that wide. And it's so easy and cheap. Like these ones I bought for $3 for, no, sorry, three for nine ninety eight on Timu. And you can also buy on Amazon. I know today it was it's the last day of the prime day, I guess. And it was two for eighty eight dollars and something cents. And what it is is just ten clips on a velcro little strip like this. So super easy. You put on whatever hanger you want. And today I'm gonna modify this so that I can put it in the car. So I'll I'll show you a photo of my car. The back seat is. A crazy mess at all times because the kids are back there and you know we have practice like almost every day so there's hats there's trash there's food it's a mess anyways I'll show you a picture I don't want to go too far into it and I'm just going to I'll show you the back I have this like really awesome cover for the back seat especially if you have it's actually for pets but if you have kids or pets this one backseat cover covers the whole backseat in one, you know, one like piece of fabric. And it looks really nice. It's black. It's wipeable. It hooks onto the back headrests and everything. Anyways, I'm going to stick this back there. Um, we'll go into the car later, but I really want to just sew this first and then we can, sh I'll show you how I, I put it in. But so yeah, this is what the product was made for and I'll show you how I'm going to modify it. Okay, sorry, this is like kind of a mess, but I just want to film this really quick. But what I'm going to do is sew two pieces of Velcro, like Velcro loops on both ends. And this is super easy. I just hope it, you know, if it helps one person, you know, keep their car organized, then that's great. Um, so yeah, I'm just taking my roll of velcro this is the best i bought this on amazon it's just a one inch velcro and this is my my zippers in my velcro box like right here i love these because you know i come up with projects on a whim and it's great to have extra materials and whatever size that you want materials you know i can just cut it so what i did was i cut two pieces each of Velcro, seven inches. Um, you could go eight, depending, totally depending on your car and what purposes you need it for. I just was back there and I'm like, I need it to be this wide. So hopefully I have the correct measurements. You should never do that, by the way. <laughs> and I'm just going to join it right here. And this is what it's going to kind of be like in the car. Um, always be aware, I guess, when you're sewing something, which way... You want the fuzzy part and the rough part because that will really make or break your Velcro type of project. So the way that you open it up is like this and this is going to be the front. So I guess just comfort wise, right? I want the fuzzy part to stick out. If anything, it could be this, but this looks like the back of Velcro. So I'm going to make this the front. So I'm going to sew this part. over here and it's very easy to figure out once you close it so this is how you want it to go so that you have the nice loop at the top so I will just pin this and what I'm going to do is basically just zigzag it right here So I have these long nails right now. And so everything is a little bit harder. 
crafting wise. <laughs> So we're gonna do the same thing on this side. Just kind of attach it on the top, fold it over like how it's gonna be, and pin it with the fuzzy side out. So the back seat cover, that's in my car. Um, I bought it on Amazon, but they did have it at Costco for a little while and it was cheaper. So you could keep an eye out, it, out for it at Costco. It's been a while though. It's been like maybe six months since they've had it. But I'm in Hawaii, so I don't know. Our Costco might be a little slower to get things. Okay, not perfect, but this is where I'm gonna sew, sew it zigzag back and forth. Actually, I thought I would show you the process in case you're curious. If not, you can just fast forward. It's gonna... It is kind of a thick area to be sewing, but it works. I did the other side already. So I'm just going to be doing a zigzag stitch back and forth, all the way down, back and forth, and then back and forth at the end. And same thing for this side. So I'm going to pin this one a little bit closer. So I wouldn't recommend sewing over the pins. I just know my machine is kind of old and it can take it. But if you're worrying, worried about breaking your needle, just pull the pin out first. If, don't sew over it. And then super easy. It's Since it's right there, you can just kind of go over it. I love having little clips right next to your sewing machine. Just makes it so much easier. So she wouldn't even want to get the threads at the base. Okay, so that's it. So now let's go to the car and put this in. Okay, so this is what my back seat looks like on any given day. Um, super messy, especially in the middle there where all the hats and whatever else junk gets collected. This backseat cover works super well. It covers all the way to the top, which is amazing. And you can see the bottom later after I move all the stuff. But I'll show you what I mean. So, I don't know. My kids have multiple hats because they have a game day hat and a practice hat. And then I have my huge hat. And then under there is like my UV camera, sunscreen, a metal, <laughs> and trash, which I absolutely hate. That's incredible. And thankfully clean socks and some stuff from breakfast this morning. So yeah, all this stuff just gets like really gross and piled up under there just gotta the sunscreen and yeah so this thing really is nice it covers the whole thing like this the only parts that are, are exposed are the seatbelt what do you call those holders or the clips anyway so this thing is really cool if you want to open this part you can you just unzip it and pull it out but what i'm gonna do is hang the hats up here so it's attached to the back headrest by these um, straps. So the first thing I tried was just hanging it over and like tucking it in. That didn't work because obviously, you know, kids. So I'm just going to make it neat. I'm going to fold it nicely. Okay. And then can you guys see? So I'm just going to undo one strap and hook it around this strap. It's just hard because my nails. And then same thing on this strap. So you can really adjust it 
Maybe I want to make it higher. And this Velcro from Amazon is really heavy duty, so I really like it. Okay, that's good enough. So now I can just hang the hats. And you actually can put whatever else you want to. I don't know what you can hang. So I have my son's hats on this side. And my younger son's hats. And then my older son's hats on this side. And I'm going to put my hat back here now too. And... If you want, you can clip extra pairs of socks because you never know like when you need an extra pair. Yeah, totally up to you what you want to clip back here, but I don't know. I thought it was a good hack and let me know in the comments. Is this something you would try? Um, not everyone, I realize, is going to need hat storage or this kind of thing. Plus, if someone needs to sit there, you have to take it off. Or maybe you can flip it to the back. It could totally flip over. Yeah. But yeah, so thanks for watching this quick car organization video. Hope it was helpful. And I will see you next time.